respect him coming into the lion's den. Weston County is notoriously conservative. And JD came in and stood at the front of a room where he knew he was in the minority and took questions, which is better than I can say for others from, from that wing of the party. That's <laughs> my, my problem. So, so, you know, Chip not getting a chance to respond, Hey, through no fault of our own or no fault of the freedom caucus, because the freedom caucus shows up, they've kind of had the stage to themselves. But for JD Williams to do something that that sorry that you know Ogden wouldn't do, um, you know Liz Cheney wouldn't do. I mean, who he gets lumped in with? He came he came right up and and he saw people and he talked to people. <laughs>
The new store, this is the one-stop shop. We have a pharmacy, we have a bootleggers liquor. The deli, the food that you can get at a lunchtime is so amazing, the coffee shop. Certain Friday mornings, there's 30 people sitting here in all these chairs. This is the hub for people to come and visit, have their coffee, have their donuts. It's amazing what this area has done, totally amazing.
To the weekly printed version of the newsletter journal, we also promote our community and share important information on our award-winning website, newslj.com, and in our weekly email newsletter, Nuke Now. We also connect with readers through various social media platforms and invite you to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can even take a look at a recent meeting of the City Council, School Board, or County Commission on our YouTube channel. We do hope that you will go to newslj.com and subscribe today, and we look forward to making all of our great content available to you. But regardless of your level of support, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for doing your part to preserve a free and independent local press. Yeah,